Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at this idea of percentile charts for measuring growth and we're going to look at the growth of babies. But let's just backtrack a little bit and just look at the background in terms of the science. So at the beginning of life we have fertilization and as I'm sure you all know fertilization is when we have an egg cell that is fertilized by a sperm cell and that's in animals. We have then the process of mitosis which will then lead to the growth of an embryo and that embryo will go through or the cells of the embryo will go through cell differentiation to become specialized cells or to make specialized cells and then we'll have the production of tissues organs organ systems to make our little baby and then we have birth so here is a little diagram of our baby going from birth up to 12 months we can use our percentile charts to see or to track the growth over that period from 0 to 12 months. Now it would help to know what the kind of normal birth weight or birth mass should be and that's done by looking at an average of thousands of babies and we've got a value of anything between 2.5 to 4.5 kg rising to 6.5 to 12.5 kg. This is These figures are found by measuring the mass of lots and lots of babies. But during that period from 0 to 12 months, how do we know if the growth of the baby is normal? If the, if the baby is growing at a normal and healthy rate? Well, this is where our percentile charts come in. So here's an example of a percentile chart. And this helps us to decide whether the growth rate of a baby is normal and healthy. Age along the bottom, mass along the y-axis, and over here on the right, we have some numbers there and those are what we call our percentiles. So I've drawn or I've written in a few of those. There are more that are usually found on a chart. I've just done a few key ones there. So how do we actually use this idea of a percentile chart? Imagine we have a baby at age eight months, eight months and a mass of 6.8 kg. Firstly, where does this baby appear on this chart? Well, we can look at the value of eight months and draw a line up. We can go to 6.8 kg, which is about there, draw a line across, and we can see that the line falls at this point here marked in red. And if you follow that through, that is on the 50th percentile, the 50th percentile. Let's just tidy that up a little bit. There we go, 50th percentile. So what exactly does that mean? Well, that means that for this baby, which is at eight months old, 50% of babies in the country have a mass less than 6.8 kg. That's what that means, 6.8 kg at eight months. That's what we mean by 50th percentile. What if we had a baby whose mass fell on the 25th percentile? What would that mean? Well, we could see from the chart that for the 25th percentile, 25% of babies of that age 25% of babies of that age have a mass below that value. And what do, we mean by, what do we mean by that value? Well, it's a point that lies on that curve. So it could be, for example, 10 months and round about 7 kg. If we draw a line across, we could see that that value falls on the 25th percentile. And that means 25% of babies of that age have a mass below 7 kg. And that gives you an idea of where the baby is in terms of the rest of the babies across the country. Now, in reality, if you track the weight of a baby, it doesn't actually follow the line smoothly. We often get ups and downs, but within certain boundaries. And that's a more accurate version of how a baby grows. But you can tell from that line, the growth rate is in line with what you would expect for a child growing from 0 to 12 months. If we had a line that started here and then crossed our percentile lines, this is not what we would expect or what we would hope for for a child growing and we would have to look to see what the problem was in order to fix the growth rate for that child. Sometimes we have babies that are born below the lower limit there and doctors have to work hard to make sure the nutrition is right for that baby to get them within acceptable limits and get them growing at a correct rate. Okay, so this is how you would read percentile charts for measuring growth, not always just for 0 to 12 months old, but it shows a good example here of how to read those charts. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.